self-imposed rule, need to go and sell that as soon as we can. Okay, we are here. Gonna keep the trailer hitched up. Um, maybe we'll plant it. 81%, 86%, that's fine. I'm going to park it in here for whatever that says. I don't know. I think this is a potato or silage. Uh, oh, it's sugar beet storage. Okay. Let us. The engine is still running. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. Let's uh, do that, fold that, and see if we can maneuver this back round behind the trailer. I could cheat and put it on the wrong way round and have it magic into position. But, uh, we'll try to do it properly. Uh, something. Maybe. <clears throat> and that looks close enough. Drop. Thank you. Come on, beam into position. You know you want to. Has it already? I don't know. There it goes. Drag this onto here and come on. Go drive. And I will. Ooh, lots of blinky lights on. We'll claim that contract as done. Another 3,600. Okay. So again, we're 5.30. There is probably time to do another contract or two before the sun sets, but quite frankly, I think we put enough hours on this thing. And to be fair, it needs an oil change. It's now down to 62%, so it's, it's an increased price per percentage point to fix. And of course, I just increased the amount of uh, cost to fix. Actually, I did lots of bad things there. I increased the rate at which it it gets damaged and I increase the cost to fix the damage. That might be a bad thing as far as this farm's concerned, but I picked it, we're staying there. Fifty percent to fifty percent of repair cost, fifty percent of wear rate. Because I want you know, part of the thing was I was noticing that to repair the tractor was you know a couple of hundred bucks sometimes and it's like uh, it probably should be a little bit more than that oh, that's probably some lime in that grass field over there that I didn't cover with liquid spray oh I, I did cover with liquid spray but the area was too small for it to trigger Okay, we are out of tea. Okay, well, uh, what should we do? How are we going to do this? I think... Turn this all of the way around, most of the way around. <coughs> I 
and we'll find out how scary this thing is to fix. Uh, C2000, that's not a lot. That's fine. Um, turn the bite off. Jump in. And see if I can pull straight back out and get this reconnected to the head of the trailer, which is there. Okay, you attached, you are attached. So I notice interestingly, I think in 19, the, the uh, vehicle condition used to report everything attached and it would treat the header as attached to the header trailer. So it would tell you all the things. Um, the mod in 21, 22, are we in Farm Sim 22? Yes, the Farm Sim 22 mod um, only tells you the vehicle you are in and the thing that's attached to it, not the other things that are attached further back. Now obviously if you've got um, a seed tank on the front of your tractor and a planter on the back, then it'll tell you both because they're both connected to the planter or they're both connected to the tractor so that's a good thing oh. <coughs> and if you've got a weight on the front or something like that anyway that is done we need to go find the Massey Ferguson that's not it that's it That is going to need the little red doodad arms. So colour coordinated uh, loader arms. And hmm. I think. I think that might be the thing I want. Let's drag this out here. Ugh. Jump. There we go. Yes. Goodness, I put that in the corner, didn't I? So the other bale spike there is to go in the three point, and obviously that's not going to work for us at this time. So we've got three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty one bales of straw. Which is about two hundred oops two hundred and thirty um, thousand liters of straw. Oh hang on now. Is there an unfold button? I'm not seeing one. Okay. Not to worry. Well, maybe there's one on the front. Uh, I'll here. Change cruise control top. Okay. Um. Oh. Uh. 
the back of that uh, thing does uh, open. So if I could get it open, and I might be able to get it open if I didn't have the front loader attached, but if I could get the back door open on the uh, the thing, then potentially we could use the skid steer to load it with. Hmm. Okay. I think we have to load this from the side, I guess. Anyway, let's get a few of these shredded. looking a little bit better but they're still sticking up on the, uh, the thing what the heck okay we have some crazy magic bale BS going on that bale is still connected to our uh, No. What the planet of hell is going on here? That's still registering as the bale is connected to the front loader. So we are going to have to drop that. Pick it back up again. I still have 11,000 litres of straw attached to the front of this tractor. What the blazes? Okay, let's drop that. That is weird. Now I'm probably going to discover that um, as I drive off that bale. Seriously, come on. Okay, we attach that. Let's attach the arm. Okay. Yep. The bale spike is coming with us. Oi, oi, oi. What is the issue here? And I have 11,000 litres of straw in this bucket. Well, this is weird. Save. Strange stuff is going on. That's probably a mod conflict. Did you just fail completely? Ah. Okay, we will be back with Farming Simulator in a second.
no idea what's going on. Oh. Yes, start. That should reset those things, so hopefully... Oh, hang on. I know what's the problem with the... Uh, with the straw thing, the straw thing only loads straw from outside, doesn't it? Because we had that problem before. But we should have been able to uh, detach the bale fork, or the bale spike from the bale. Let's have a look, see what goes on here. There we go. Uh, let's start the engine. Okay, so I am going to open this door. Well, we've managed to deta detach the uh, bail spike, I guess. There we go. Straw, for some reason, works from here. Go figure. Now I've got to go and find the bail spike. for it. Put it there. Okay, well that was an interesting dilemma. That bail will, however, shoot out into there and we can check the cows and we now have lots of straw. So as I said, it doesn't take long to get this loaded with this size of bale. Weirdness abounds. Okay, so what we're going to do is, I will do this with the skid steer. I'll grab that bit of spike, we'll put all of this stuff away. figured out how to open the back door on the uh, the debris we will uh, do that instead so bail spike can go right there um, drop Back up a little bit drop the forks there and select the bin on the back and open that up. Nice. Uh, go to the uh, 
skid steer, which does not have a bail spike on the front. Huh. I'm sure I've got one of those somewhere. Like, well, right over here. been using these mod single bale spikes because they're a little bit better designed for round bales and at the moment this is a round bale farm. We do have an extractor that will now do squares so that's going to be an option going forward. But all of our balers are round at the moment. roll it in there shall we stay there thank you then get that to roll in there I'm not going to put it all the way down that should create a small lip that it doesn't roll out any further. and stab it. Oh. Well, it's close enough. Do not drive around with the arms raised. Oh, we are not evangelical farmers. Or is it Pentecostal? I never remember. Lift that up, push it in there, and no, really, do not do that, you pain in the butt. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, jump across to the tractor and raise the door, chuck it in there. Alrighty, now back to the skid steer. And see if I can lower that in there. Don't fall out, thank you. Oh, that's the one. that up and it all should roll in nicely except it doesn't well, that's another 22,000 litres of straw oh we can, oh yeah no do not shred the straw at that point because shredding the straw at that point will load the feeder which is good for TMR, but not really good for bedding. <coughs> so, throw some more bedding in.
Now I think this feeder, or this straw shredder, wrappers that. That's only 100 horsepower. The Vermeer that we had was uh, about 125. Oh. Of course. Um, might have been 110, but this tractor is only 125, so uh, kind of limited in what it can do. But it's, it's been a handy tractor around the farm. I, I'm kind of torn whether I want to get rid of it or just keep it because it's doing a good job. But it's 74 hours. How much is it worth? There's another question. Uh, small tractors. Um, it's only worth 15,000. So not the greatest of things. But I'm not going to be able to sell it to buy another tractor. That much is certain. Not unless I want to get some 35 horsepower 1950s vintage tractor. Okay, I think we can go with two more bales. Actually, that works out quite nicely. Light angle. 